Hey guys, so it's Friday evening um, and I'm just doing laundry, so definitely. And how are you guys doing? How's your January? <laughs> okay, so I did some laundry and I'm putting it away and basically um, I did have a lot of cleaning to do for sure. Um, more like just deep deep cleaning the bathroom um what else did i do today i did like two loads of laundry um i washed that rug in my bathroom and it's sort of like like a light 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 gray so um i like to stay on top of that um and uh, i mopped the floors and i've had to do that almost every day just because um the snow and ice it does get in the house even though um you know we have something to keep the shoes in right so mm -hmm. so so i wanted to talk to you guys about like like basically like this week has been a rough week <laughs> so um you know, basically, you know, my husband, Angel, he ended up having surgery. Um, we knew about it. Um, we've been knowing about it for a few months. Um, and it is pretty serious. Um, the surgery went great. Um, and he's healing now. Um, but I definitely, like, I wanted to uh, talk to you guys about that. Um, so, basically, with this channel, like, I I love this cleaning channel. I love our coconut cutie cleans channel, okay? Like um I just felt like so basically, you know, it it's been hard on us. It's been hard on the family and it's been hard on, you know, Angel and I, you know. Um and for me this has been like a creative outlet um, and honestly I've had fun um, and as you can see like I've been doing cleaning videos and I've also been doing like lifestyle videos you know uh, focusing on self-care makeup um, the products that we love um, and stuff that I'm really passionate about I think that resonates with you um, and so I love to share that and it, it brings me joy. Okay. Like genuine joy. Um, and yeah, so like I was hesitant to talk about this stuff because I do get emotional, but, um, I wanted to share it, <laughs> you know, I wanted to share it just because, I know that other people may be dealing with uh, similar situations, you know, and when you deal with illness in your family, um, your loved ones that are very close to you, it's definitely difficult. Um, and I, I will say two things that have helped so much. Two things that have helped helped so much uh number one uh reaching out to your friends and family and just staying with those people that you can count on um it's a healthy level of distraction that is needed and just fun and warmth and um people being there for you so having having a good team is great for you um, and I think it helped us a lot having, you know, our family and friends for support. Um, the second thing that has helped a lot, well, it should be the first thing, but like just, um, basically like being like having 
a, a bit of spirituality um, and I feel like that helps. So for me, it has helped a lot. So we started going to church more um, and you know, basically we go to the Catholic church um, and it helps so much. Um, so I'll just say like, um, reaching out spiritually, it barely costs anything at all. It doesn't cost much, you know, you can connect spiritually at home or by, you know, going in a group, you know, stuff like that. Um, but I think that it gave me faith, even more faith especially in the beginning, like um, going to church and see it, seeing other people and seeing other believers. Um, and it's just incredible because sometimes when things are bad, um, we can forget out there in the world that like people have love in their hearts and um, you know, and I think it's a beautiful, wonderful thing, you know. Um, and so I'm grateful and, you know, um, so definitely if this resonates with anybody, you know, You know, type it in the comments or, you know, you know, definitely like it if you if you enjoyed, you know, this message. But um, I just say it to see like, you know, that it, it was tough. Like this has been tough. The road isn't over. You know, we're 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 moving through and we're getting things done, you know. So. Um, and yeah, so changes, changes, I believe are coming. So I have a new job prospect in the lines and I don't talk too much about business stuff because like this channel for me is my fun outlet. I'll touch on like resources that I use. But this is really like a passion project of mine. So I don't talk too much about like corporate work and stuff like that. Um, but I do think that, you know, like especially myself seeing other YouTubers, I did like people talking about that and it is a part of my life. Um, so I have a job prospect in line um, and if the job has been presented to me i and um if things go through i receive it i welcome it and i'm gonna open myself up to it and um it's funny because sometimes life is not the way you expect but i believe that no matter what happens um, three months from now, six months from now, a year from now, that God is putting us in the right place. And um, I believe he always takes care of me, you know? And I've always told, told that to people. So um, I'm going to receive it. And it's very exciting. I think it is a very exciting move. And I do hope that they like open their arms to me. The organization I'm talking about, um, I think it would be something very beautiful. And, um, you know, in the core of things, I'm still gonna be able to help people. And, you know, since I can remember, I always wanted to help people. And that's kind of vague because I have helped a lot. Um, I have, I worked in 
like education for over four years. Um, I work in insurance for over three years. Um, and I was an integral part in a lot of different teams. Um, amazing experience. Um, I worked in I worked in some amazing organizations um, and I hold like all the connections I made, I hold them near and dear in my heart and I love the people I worked with so much. I still stay in contact with some of the people um, and I think it's important um, and I love each and every one of them, you know, that, that was with me. So yeah. <laughs> Maybe I'm rambling, but the last thing I want to mention right now. So one of the things that helped me a lot, or one of the things that helps me a lot, um, is like journaling. And this is the journal I'm using. And one of my very kind, good friends, uh, gave this to me. It's a beautiful journal. And, you know. So I write that and I write like notes and stuff like that. And honestly, like I keep it uh, in my living room because I go there every day. And so I like to see it, you know, I like to be able to see it um, easily and it's great. And um, it just, it helps to get the feelings out and things like that. And also like, I, and I have a gratitude journal, okay, but I may just write down the things I'm grateful for as well. And this, I tell people about writing in a journal. It doesn't cost a thing, but the actual journal. It doesn't cost a thing, and it's a great way to like, um, it's a great thing. It's a great way to get your feelings out. I think that's really important. Um, I highly encourage you guys write stuff down, um, write it out, um, because sometimes, right, um, like, well, speaking for myself, sometimes I have trouble, like, verbalizing how I feel, um, and that's coming from a great communicator. I feel like I'm a really good communicator, but sometimes it's very difficult for me to, actually verbalize how I feel and so writing it out has always helped me um to better understand to better understand myself um so like it helps me be introspective and helps me process uh, my emotions um yeah so and um I'll say this week also something that helped me a lot like before the surgery, what helped me was, um, like, so basically I, um, took the time and I'm super grateful that I had the time to like, like I meditated. Um, so, so basically, um, it's, it was probably more than 20 minutes and I've meditated before. Like, um, I went to like a meditation class before. Um, and my schedule worked better before with, uh, the woman who led the classes before and she was amazing. Her name was Sarah. Um, and, uh, I used to do like meditation sessions. I did that for a while and it really helped. Um, I feel like to release like pent up, like, uh, energy that I would feel. Um, but literally like, you know, I meditated on my own, um, this week before the surgery for at least 20 minutes, like I said, and like, just so grateful that I did that. And I know that like, I did all the things, all the things like, uh, self-care wise that like works well with me. I did all those things. Um, so that I could be in the best mental space um, for like the the week that it's been this week and also like the January ahead, you know? Um, so, so yeah, but 
I hope you guys enjoy the message and I love you guys so much. You know, I, we're still doing these videos. All right, so last thing I wanna mention right here. The last thing I wanna mention, I wanna talk about like um, the channel growth. So right now, um, in the time I'm filming this video, we're at 33 subscribers. So grateful. I'm so grateful for that. Um, I've been making these videos. It's been over four months. Might be five months. I'll double check soon. But it's definitely, well, it's late August, okay, that I started filming. Um, I do see myself improving. Um, and... Of course, the more we do it, like the better it gets, right? Um, so these videos, you know, I see the traction building. Um, I see myself getting more views. Um, I know that we're gonna get to a hundred, we're gonna get to a thousand, we're gonna get to ten thousand. Um, I know I'm gonna get to seventy five thousand, a hundred thousand, a hundred and fifty thousand subscribers eventually. Um, I know that like with time and dedication so i'm definitely um you know i am making it my mission to post weekly you know one or, one or two videos um ideally and i also want to say like even though it has been like slow growth like i see views but it's been slow growth in subscribers i just know that what i'm happy about here is that um the subscribers that are subscribed to my channel, you guys understood the message and the assignment right away. Like you guys um, connected with me like that. And so you guys are perfectly aligned and that's what we need. We need an aligned community who, you know, that enjoys that. So I have no problem with slow growth because, you know, every, every person matters and that's huge. Like if you guys, if we were all in a room, um, 33 people, that's a lot of people, my goodness. And you guys keep coming back for content. Um, so, you know, I'm wishing that this channel continues to grow in a healthy way. It continues to grow. It resonates with people um, that we're getting our uh, chores done, that we are connecting, you know, um, and that it makes you well, it makes you feel good, you know? Cause that's how I feel like I feel accomplished. I feel good. I feel proud about our channel and I feel uh, proud about, I feel proud about um, any of the um, products that I recommend because I'm not going to re recommend BS. I'm going to recommend stuff that I like, that I like, that I trust. So, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, so with that, thank you for watching and you guys have a great day.